If you run a B2B business, and particularly a service business, then this is one video you're gonna to wanna to tune into. Hey everybody, Ken here from Social Wave, sharing with you the latest advice on B2B marketing strategies and tactics for your business. Now, if you're an e-commerce business, then this is probably not the video for you. But if you're selling something well into the thousands per month or year, and you're a B2B business, then stick around. Now, having been in marketing for the past three years, silver bullets and quick hacks are all the rage. Everyone loves fast, cheap, and easy. These marketers who would share with you how they ran a $200 ad campaign that got them $80,000 in new business, or how this one email subject line led to $24,582 in purchases, or how this one quick copywriting trick resulted in $18,000 in new revenue. When I first got into marketing, I'd lap it all up. I'd jump from one quick hack to the next. I'd swipe all of these tactics and I'd try them and guess what? None of them worked. Does that sound familiar? And you know why? Because they're so ridiculously out of context when they're shared. The ad campaign probably was off the back of a really dialed in retargeting campaign. The email subject line was probably for a list that was primed to buy anyway. And the copywriting trick was probably just one client paying $18,000 who they happened to get at the right place at the right time. It's not that these things don't work, it's just that they're not the only influencing factor. So in this video, I wanna share with you the only B2B marketing strategy you need and what's worked for my 40 clients. Okay, so to be successful in B2B marketing, you need to first understand how B2B buyers make decisions. So I wanna share this illustration produced by Gartner on the B2B buying journey. B2B buying is a multi-stakeholder buying process that's non-linear and generally done over a longer period of time. This is because as a business, you're likely not selling a pair of socks or a t-shirt under $20. The buying process is much more complex and the consideration cycle will take longer. The problem with how B2B businesses currently market themselves is that they think that they're marketing when in fact they're selling. The analogy I've heard that best frames this is, imagine if all Netflix did was create content about how awesome Netflix is. That's how 99% of B2B businesses market themselves. No one cares about the fact that you won some award. No one gives a damn about a new team member. Your target market, whether you like it or not, only cares about themselves and what you can do for them. Focus on educating and entertaining your prospects to build brand affinity and a relationship with them so that when they move from non-buy to buy mode, they'll come to you rather than Google or your competitors. And so your job is to communicate how your service helps to alleviate their pain points. And we do that through content marketing. So here's the five step framework you need to know to begin creating the right content for your B2B marketing strategy. Number one, subject matter expertise. Think about your target audience's pain points, frequently asked questions and knowledge gaps and you should be creating relevant content that helps them address these three pillar themes. If you're not a subject matter expert, then find someone who is. Be a curator. This could be things like interviews. The point is that your audience should be able to watch this, feel like they had learned something or gotten better, or they can apply something immediately into their business. Number two, video content pillars. Think like a media company or a publisher. Just like a TV show, you need to turn up at the same time every week. This can be a podcast or a long form video like this one up on YouTube. Find ways to create a sustainable and consistent content creation workflow that allows you to show up every week. Number three, repurpose your pillar video content. Once you have a good weekly cadence in play, you should be able to rip out the audio, turn it into a podcast. Find video snippets of less than 60 seconds to use on Facebook and LinkedIn. You can also turn these snippets into vertical videos to be used on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. You could repurpose the information into graphic carousels on Instagram. You could transcribe it into show notes or an SEO article. You can share this in your EDM. The point is, from one original piece of content, you should be able to turn it into multiple mediums and formats to be used across all channels. Number four, amplification and distribution. Aim to publish as frequently as possible. Quantity leads to quality. You don't need to focus on every platform. Just get clear on where your ideal customer spends most of their time online. Also, understand how the algorithm works for these platforms. Publishing on YouTube isn't the same as Facebook or TikTok. Things like length of videos, do you do snippets, headlines, progress bars, subtitling, is it vertical, horizontal? How do you maximize attention and consumption? And number five, engage and listen. This is 
an area that B2B business owners are the worst at. It's not enough now just to publish. It's called social media, not media. So you need to socialize. This means responding to comments, engaging in other people's posts, sending messages, building relationships, just like you do when you go to networking events. So where to begin? Your job in marketing your business is to teach. Help your prospects get better, entertain them, help them become more successful, all without a single shred of selling. If you're a plumber, teach people about DIY. If you're a mortgage broker, teach people about property investing. If you're a lawyer, teach people how to interpret legal issues to their benefit. Build up that affinity with them so that when they're ready to buy, they'll be coming to you instead of your competitors. All right, so hopefully you guys got some value out of that. If you did, leave your comments down below if you have any questions. Otherwise, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.